है सही नहीं बोल रहे हैं वो सही सही कुछ भी नहीं बोल रहे हैं मेरे को सी बी आई जाँच चाहिए स्कूल के लिए चाहिए हर्फलीस फॉर जस्टिस सो दैट नो अदर प्रद्युमन सफर्स द सेम फेट मे हैव गॉन कम्प्लीटली अनहर्ड थर्टीन डेज आफ्टर सेवन ईयर ओल्ड वॉज मर्डर इन कोल्ड ब्लड द स्कूल रिमेन्स शॉट स्टूडेंट्स बैटल फेयर एंड ट्रामा वाइल स्कूल ओनर्स रोम फ्री Why? Listen to Haryana government's justification. ये जो आप कार्रवाई कह रहे हैं कि हमें सम्मान करना चाहिए वो तो हम कर चुके हैं पहले ही कर चुके हैं और हमने कहा कि आप अपना पक्ष रखिए हम इन्वेस्टिगेशन करेंगे Many questions are being raised as to why are the powerful Pinto still being shielded. While the Punjab and Haryana High Court postponed the anticipatory bail hearing of the Pintos till Monday, they have also refused to stay the arrest of the Pintos. So while Haryana police drags its feet and puts the onus on the CBI now, the Pintos of Ryan School are running from one court to another seeking anticipatory bail. Francis Augustine Pinto, Ryan Pinto, Grace Pinto. इनकी गिरफ्तारी पर रोक लगाने से आज पंजाब एंड हरियाणा हाई कोर्ट ने साफ तौर पर मना कर दिया प्रद्युमन फैमिली इज ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ लूजिंग होप दे से द स्कूल मैनेजमेंट शुड टेक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी देखिए मैं स्टार्टिंग से ही ये बोलता आया हूँ कि मैनेजमेंट की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है और अगर वो बैकफुट पे जा रही है तो वो गलत है उनको अपनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेनी चाहिए उन पर भी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फिक्स होनी चाहिए एवरी डे द जस्टिस इज डी लेट हेयर More examples emerge from schools across the country. Students molested, raped, held hostage and beaten mercilessly. So even as we ask who is shielding Ryan Pinto and wife, we must also ask the government act now, set an example and make our schools safe. Mirror now report. It has been 13 days. 13 days since the shocking and blood-curdling murder of Pradyuman, the seven-year-old class two student in Ryan International School in Gurgaon. You know the story. You've heard the story. You've read about it. It's kept you up at night. It's caused you a great deal of discomfort. Do you know who it does not cause discomfort to? The police in Gurgaon. The government in Gurgaon. doesn't seem to be particularly bothered by this case i'll tell you why because the people who run this school augustin francis pinto grace pinto and ryan pinto who should be behind bars because the punjab haryana high court that is currently hearing what can only be described as a completely audacious anticipatory bail hearing from these people has not stayed in arrest of them which is fundamentally means that these people think they're going to be arrested so they've gone to the court saying please make sure that we're not arrested and the court has said we're not going to do that the police have every right to arrest you if they want to the court has reserved the next hearing until monday which means that the government of haryana and the police in gurgaon have the ability to arrest these people at any point any point though has not come yet for some reason none of these people three people have been arrested for some reason the police has not found the time or the inclination to make an arrest in the cold blooded murder of a 7 year old boy what is the government of haryana worried about what are they afraid of who are they afraid of How important are these pintos and why are they being shielded by the government of Haryana? A rudimentary search on the internet will show you that these pintos hobnob and brush shoulders with some important people in the country cutting across party lines. We saw the same thing happen with Ram Rahim as well. These people obviously have important friends. Is that why they are not behind bars? Or is it simply that the government of Haryana doesn't think that the murder of a 7-year-old boy is a really big or important thing? We'll find out today. Joining me on the show, Vikram Singh, former Director General of Police Uttar Pradesh, Raman Malik, spokesperson of the Haryana BJP. Odette Katrag is the social activist who works with child and women's safety. She's authored a document called the Safety Guidelines for Schools. We also have Mohammad Khan, spokesperson of the Congress Party. Sushil Kumar is the advocate for the Supreme Court. He's also the lawyer for Pradyuman's family at this point. Pradyuman's the young boy who lost his life. 
And we'll have, uh, uh, you know, also Sagar Bandara join us through the course of the conversation. He's a psychiatrist. I welcome all of you to this conversation. Sushil Kumar, I'm going to start with you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for giving us your time. Why is it that these Pintos are, have still not been arrested? Have the police offered you any sort of justification so far? See, I tell you, at the moment, uh, at the present, there is a complete vacuum. The state government has said that they are not going to further investigate the matter. Matter has been referred to the CBI. Today is the fifth day when the matter has been has been announced to be recommended. Now, what has happened is there is a deliberate and willful attempt on part of the government to create a lull, to create a pause, and deliberately to happen the the complete mess and chaos in this Paduman murder case. I must tell you with full responsibility, I must say that you see. Yesterday, it was the fourth day when the Home Secretary of the State Government recommended formally. Now, what has happened is they have given a clean cakewalk to the Pinto's family to approach to the court of the law concern court and ask for the anticipatory bail. Thanks to the judiciary and thanks mm -hmm. to the law taking its own course. And uh, we are only there as a torch bearer. I, I, I must tell you, there is no one today to oppose the bail petition of the Pintos because CBI is not taking over formally by this time and there is a complete vacuum. This vacuum is being created by the government, the state government and now Union of India. I don't know what is the reason. Today the Pinto family are mighty, they are high, they are rich, they are absconding, they are underground, they have all sorts of uh, um, uh, with them, the the black deeds. What uh, you see, what is what is so special about the Pintos? In the last 15 years, they have created an empire. Which business they are into that can give me to create that that can give them to create a wealth of thousands of crores? They say philanthropy, they say charitable, but which charitable organization they are running today? They are having a relationship with all the politicians and I must say that why the CBI is not taking over and going to oppose the bail petition, why the Pardumans family, Varun Thakur, has to lead and uh, appoint the lawyer and I am going every time, we are, we are representing yes. everywhere and we are opposing the bail plea. Why this vacuum is being created and why there is a conspiracy to create the absolute mess in this investigation. A diabolical, gruesome and the rarest incident of a seven-year-old boy and a spineless less and insensitive the government is today. Very shocking, very disturbing for all of us. Mr. Vikram Singh, this is shocking and distressing indeed. On one hand, you have the state police that has done precious little. On the other hand, the CBI has not taken over. And I think this is the worst part, that little Pradyuman's parents are currently fighting an anticipatory bail plea. I don't understand. Why is it not the state against the state of Haryana against the Pintos? Where is the public prosecution? What is going on right now? Why is it? And I and I, and I echo the sentiment that's coming in right on inball.in messages coming into the channel that say that ordinary people have no shot at justice at all, no matter how open and shut the close uh, the uh, the case is. If you're a regular person with no influence, justice is just not on your side in this country anymore, Mr. Singh. Absolutely fake. It is adding insult to injury in the first place. Please understand, as a matter of procedure, if you hand over the investigation to the CBI, till the CBI formally does not take over the investigation, the job of the local police is very much there to prosecute, investigate and continue with the investigation with the same seriousness and vigor as they started on day one. The very fact that the Pintos have applied for anticipatory bail and they have not been arrested till now, they still have four days before it comes up again on Monday. You have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and the early part of Monday. If you have it in you, please arrest all the three because it is the admission of guilt when they go for anticipatory bail and the request for stay on their arrest. Why are they not arresting? My learned friend has said, perhaps they have so much of money with them, perhaps they have the power with them, Perhaps they have the political power. It is inexplicable why they have not been arrested till now. They have civil, they have moral, and they have criminal liability. And under these circumstances, I see no reason why they have not been arrested till now. We have promised from the government. We have the chief minister going to the victim's house, shedding tears. If those tears are genuine, I would certainly expect the police to arrest all these three. This delay is deafening. This delay is inexplicable. And I see no reason why the police is unable to arrest. And to appoint a private prosecutor and a lawyer to oppose the anticipatory bail, what is the state doing? 
the state should have hired a very, very senior advocate to contest their plea. It is not for Pradyumn's father to engage a private lawyer to oppose his anticipatory bail and stay on his arrest. I would certainly expect Mr. Raman light, uh, Mr. Ramanji to shed some light on the present state of affairs. You gave us such a good account of yourself in the earlier episodes. We were almost on the verge of believing that the Pintos would be arrested. Please, till the time the CBI takes over the investigation, it is your duty to ensure their arrest. Absolutely. And I want I'm, to ask, uh, you know, uh, this question of Raman Malik. Raman Malik? Yes? Today, the prosecution is absolutely yes, redundant. Oh. I must say that today the prosecution is absolutely redundant. There is no one to represent either the state government, CBI is not taking over. And, and uh, in, the, in the meantime, one day the school is being opened. A free-for-all movement is being given to all the concerned persons to come and destroy. See, the CBI, when taking over the charge, they have to go with the, with the sanitization of the entire school premise. It's not only that they would be restricting themselves to the theory of the local cops, or they will be only going by the evidentiary value, what has been collected, or only restricting themselves to the crime of scene. It's not like that. CBI may have to sanitize the entire campus. There may be some microscopic or nano-related um, evidences which may be still present in the in the school. And see the insensitivity of the government, the local district, uh, district collector, taking the decision of opening the school for one day. And this is when the legal notice was slapped on him. He has decided not to continue with the opening of the school. Not letting the CBI to taking over a formal appearance that is making in the school premise. What the prosecution is not do, actually doing nothing today. And this is a very serious matter relating to the absolute, uh, I must say, the insensitivity of the government being show, showing in this case. The seven-year-old seven son is being killed and the government is simply doing nothing. I mean, the high and mighty is being, is being protected by the government. It appears why they are not arresting the Pintos? Where are they underground? They are not residing in the address what they have given in the affidavit in the court of law. There is no rule of law prevailing at the moment. There are there are there is already one week I have come to I have gone to Bombay High Court. Now I am in Punjab and Haryana High Court. Bombay High Court gave the protection until 5 p.m. Uh, on on I think probably Monday or Tuesday they were not arrested. Then they have gone to Punjab and Haryana High Court. And today the Punjab and Haryana High Court has very categorically said we are not going to give you any kind of interim relief. We are not going to give you a stay on your arrest. And the matter is being postponed for Monday. They should be arrested in another two, three, four days. It's a, it's an act which has been attracted pertaining to Justice Juvenile Act. It's pertaining to Poxo Act. It's pertaining to 302 Murder Act. Why they are playing so foul? I think they are going to give a clean passage. They are waiting. You know, I, I want to take yeah. this question to Raman Malik. Yeah. Raman Malik, yeah. Raman Malik, it's very interesting that this uh, Grace Pinto seems to be uh, rubbing shoulders with all the important people in our country across party lines. She seems to have friends across all political parties. Is that why you've not arrested her still, Raman Malik? Number one, say, somehow, all the learned people that they are there on this debate, I really wonder where the discourse is going and where our conscience is going. Mm. Let's understand two things. The loss of child from my district, from my state, arrest not is my made. You didn't answer too. my question. And I really have pain for it. But, 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 the matter remains that how is law going to work? Is it going to be decided by the law and procedures inscribed and the operations as per precedence or it is going to be decided and operated as per the desire or the, the situation which may be emotionally charged or not? I'm talking so purely of criminological jurisprudence. Oh. I think Mr. Malik... I'm sorry, Raman Malik, are you calling the death he of a seven-year-old person an emotionally overcharged situation? How dare you, Raman Malik, answer my question. Why hasn't the police... In one second, one second, one second. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. I have questions for Raman Malik. Let me put my comment and... 
Raman Malik. See, no, no, no. If, if this is the way no, that Raman Malik, going to go, answer my question. Raman Malik, answer my question. I don't here. care for your comment. Answer my question. No, I can start. Would you call me an emotional person, Raman Malik? No, this is not the way that this debate. Would you call me an emotional person, Raman Malik? No, this is this is not the way it is going to be. Raman Malik, would you call me an emotional person? No, this debate does not go this way, Fe. I I conduct the debate. I conduct the debate. I decide See, which way it goes, Raman. Right like, I want now, to know why one the must Pintos understand. Have not been as much as I or an anybody else, the even, the, have not been arrested. even the chief minister Can we get an wants Can the, the people responsible an for this gruesome act, this Please inhuman act, to be behind bars. We have to go as per law. Can you can you give me a precedent where uh, something like this has happened and in seven days? The CBI inquiry was ordered, or for that matter, in this debate, are you trying to say that the courts so, okay. are incapable and you're questioning their wisdom? Are you questioning their wisdom? <laughs> Raman Malik, nice, nice attempt. Well nice done. Attempt. Raman Malik, I am telling you that in the wisdom of the Punjab Haryana High Court, the Punjab and Haryana High Court has not granted anticipatory uh, stay or bail. It has not issued a stay on the arrest. It has actually left the window open for the state government and the state police to make an arrest. Does the state government and the state Correct. police even know so, where the Pintos are right now? So. Where are they? Tell are me where the they people are. who are directly? Do you know where they are? Have you questioned please them? Please listen. The people of the uh, of this management of the school, who were prima facie directly involved in operations, have been arrested. The people who are owning this institution have been told to submit their passports, and they're not supposed to go out till the inquiry is over. The the CBI inquiry is already ordered. Now I want to understand the court and the police, the executive and the judiciary have to do their part. Let them do their part and if that is lacking anywhere, we all must question them. But till the time, so you know, they are like putting in an effort to, the to I, I, this case, I guess they, they think they're they more or less done a clean it. Chit. You are making a comment on the matter which is and sent to this and which is very clear in nature. the CBI inquiry is not filed because the police in Gurgaon right. was right. incompetent so, to do so or incompetent to do, uh, uh, you know, investigate this uh, thing. It was done because the law. people wanted so. And the, uh, the CM, being emotional, he did it. And that is not wrong. But then the, the right. you know, I want you, the I want you ask one second. is dependent emotional. on the CBI. It is not in, in the hands of the police. Ray, just one quick point. Okay, Vikram Singh, do you want to clarify this for us? Just Vikram one Singh, quick you want to clarify point, this Mr. Raman Malik, I'm, one uh, quick so, point. So, it, it, the people like to accuse women of being emotional when... One second, Vikram Singh, I'm going to come to you. Just as, as a response to what Raman Malik is saying, people accuse women of getting emotional when little seven-year-old boys that have their That is again wrong slipped. on your part, Faye. Women being that. emotional was emotional never said. Even I'm very emotional. Their, have their throat slit now, when how, they're how in you, So, I'm going to hand this over to Vikram Singh. Vikram Singh. Yes, Would you, you buy are, the justification that Raman Malik is giving us? Absolutely. As a, as no, a retired I would DGP of Uttar Pradesh, just one does, quick point is, is what he's shoveling onto the show right now, does that make any sense to you? Justice Mr. must not only be done, but must emotional. seem to be done. Mr. Malik, when Mr. Did Malik, I say that women are emotional? Mr. Malik, let us not go round and round. Let us come to the point. Let us come to the debate. The government is very dangerous for the prosecution. Justice must not only be done, but must seem to be done. In the present case, Mr. Raman Malik, screwing up the entire investigation. The Pintos are have this a is the responsibility. Basic of the the, if the court had found any merit in their applications, both of the. Uh, 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 stay on their arrest yes. and on the anticipated debate, they, they would have given the them the relief. The very time. fact that the courts have not intervened is sufficient reason for the police to ensure their arrest. If I, and if the arrest does Mr. not come, Bikram there Singh, are... If I, if, I, if I go by your logic, if I go by your logic, since you were the DG of police... Let, in allow Yuki, Mr. Vikram Singh tenure, to finish his point, that please. that has gone wrong as by the police should be your responsibility, oh, personal responsibility, is it? I didn't get your question, let, Mr. Malik. Let, of course, it was. Vikram Singh, 
Judiciary I tell you, Mr. Malik, it's very categorical. None of the trials they have been asked to subject themselves to the interrogation and right investigation. The but I'm, I'm going to bring everybody. I'm going to bring everybody in one by nobody one. Nobody is. Nobody is saying system. they should not. Oh, Raman Malik, please then, develop the habit of guilty, listening to other people. Held accountable. Nowhere. One has second, it Raman Malik. I want to. I want to bring in the other members of my panel. And hand it over to the CBI also. Request has been gone. One second, one second, one second, Why? one second, one second, one second, one second. Right, I want to, I want to, one second. One second, Raman Malik. Pallavi Sharma, Pallavi Sharma, lawyer with the Human Rights Law Network is with us. Uh, or, or she's not with us right now. We're going to, all right, we're going to try and get her back in. We want to try and get a law, we, we, we will try and get other people in on this uh, panel as well. I just want to understand from a legal point of view, Sushil Kumar, not as Pradyuman's uh, family's lawyer at this point. I see your hand up on it. I'll come to you. Sushil Kumar, when, we, when Raman Malik is, is bragging about the fact that the CBI was brought in after eight days, you are telling me that when you go to court to oppose this bail hearing that the Pintos have asked for. So the Pintos have uh, assumed they're going to be arrested. Now, who assumes they're going to be arrested? They've gone to the court and said, please make sure we're not arrested. Who's going to argue that case on the other side? There is no CBI lawyer. There is no public prosecutor. It is Pradyuman's family. family. Please tell us what's wrong with that situation and why you don't buy what Raman Malik is giving us. See, Sushil I tell Kumar. you one thing. The basic criminological jurisprudence and criminal justice dispensation delivery system warrants, see, uh, there has to be a mens rea, the motive in the entire investigation. Today, when the local cops failed in investigating and reaching to a conclusion that there is a mens rea, there is a motive behind this, and there have been many various theories, many mysteries were coming and is, uh, coming to the surface, and a lot of uh, uh, screwing up and mess with the entire investigation has been there, and therefore there was a constant demand of the matter being referred to the CBI. When the matter being referred to the CBI, it has taken four days to formally recommend uh, the state government for to, to send the recommendation finally to the central government. Now you see in these four to five days, there is uh, this, this, therefore I say when this lull and pause has been taken by the government deliberately and willfully being created, it's a dangerous sign. It's going to destroy the entire evidences available there. There will be no evidentiary value and significance. What CBI is going to come and collect the pieces from there, they are going to reconstruct the entire scenario, they are going to appreciate and reappreciate the entire evidences being collected by the local cops. Now, the, it deliberately what, what has happened is, the CBI has not formally been take, uh, taken over the charge. The, the ball is now in the court of the uh, central government. Central government may take time, as Mr. Malik says. Now, so far as his allegation, his defense rather, I must say, regarding giving a clean sheet to the Pintos, I must say very categorically, I have seen the petition, I have seen the actual actual crime which is being set forth in the petition, if he is saying himself that he has not committed anything. I must say it is the FIR which is being registered by his government, by the Haryana government, which categorically says that section 75 of the Justice Juvenile Act, section 302 of the IPC, IPC. there is, and, and also the POCSO, the, the uh, Sexual Offences Act against the children. children. There is a direct liability. If you see Section 75 of the Justice Juvenile Act, it creates cult. It 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 very clearly says the culpability and cognizability. Thank pointing you, out sir. The finger. Just just a minute. Thank you, sir. Pointing out Thank the finger very directly much, to sir. the Pintos. You I must tell you one thing, sir. Please, Mr. Malik, please. Let, let, you know, it does seem uh, that there is a, a path minute, being paved minute, at this point minute, to, minute, to, minute, point minute, to minute, offer minute, these Pintos a clean chit. I'm going to go to Mohammed Khan, Mohammed Khan of the Congress. Mohammed Khan of the Congress, go ahead. Mohammed Khan of the Congress. Raman Malik, please develop the habit of listening to other people. You arrest him immediately. Why are you not arresting him for bringing to the book? I want to understand if all the sections which have to be imposed are you impose, have, you then have why are you saying that the government does not want to? You are to hardly act. in a position to badger my panelists if you are not going Mr. to Malik, listen to no, them. No, why is it? Our, our, Mohammed Khan, our Mr. Malik, is, I can listen to those me. Actions, Mr. Malik, calm down and listen to me. There is, there is no need for you to be getting so defensive. Listen to me carefully. Raman Malik, Raman Malik, giving a safe to be told. Wait, but hang on, let me just, one second, one second, one second. Give me a second. You know, I just want to remind Raman Malik. One second, one second. Can I have a moment's silence on the panel, please? Can I, should, could I have a moment's silence on the panel, please? Raman Malik, can you hear me? Raman Malik, can you hear me?
Raman Malik. Raman Malik, this is Faye D'Souza from Mirror Now. You are on the urban debate, Raman Malik. It is that other show where we listen to each other. It is not the kind of program where we shout at each other. Shouting at each other is not going to achieve much on this show. This is the urban debate. We have to listen to each other and then Nobody offer rebuttals. That's how the show works. I have two panelists who haven't spoken yet. Mohammad Khan, go ahead. Mr. Malik, I will be brief. I have been watching the situation closely and I have had the pleasure of uh, speaking with, uh, with Vikram Sahab on this debate and I have heard you and your colleagues elaborate on this subject at length. I want to make three very quick points to you, Malik Sahab. Pehli baat to ye, you talk about law and order. You talk about prosecuting them to the fullest extent of the law. Please tell me, where was this sense of duty when you lati charged the parents? Secondly, you try and seek some degree of credit for the CBI inquiry, yet you omit to tell this panel that your decision to refer the matter to the CBI or for them to assume jurisdiction was predicated on an application made before court in a PIL where the court issued notice asking for CBI inquiry to take place. Thirdly, you try and quibble with us over the provisions of the law. Sir, there is no doubt in anyone's mind an extremely heinous act has taken place. Unfortunately, what it appears is by virtue of the position that you're presenting before the public, that you seem to be trying to cover up or put forth a brief for certain individuals. You should, in fact, in fact, you should come out, condemn and unequivocally take action. The way you're behaving, it appears as if anarchy has set in your state and you guys are operating like headless chickens. When Vikram Saab very rightly pointed out to you, it doesn't take a lawyer to tell you this. Ek bar court ne anticipatory bail reject kar di, to koi bhi police giraftar kar sakti hai. It is one of the reasons right. people refrain from filing for anticipatory bail because they're worried agar ek bar reject ho jayegi, to arrest imminent ho jata hai. The fact that so much time has lapsed, Mr. Malik, is on your head. That is all I have to say. Raman Malik, please respond. Can I rebut to him now? Yep. So, uh, it so very uh, incidentally happens that just the day before the Lati charge happened, one of his uh, ex-MPs, who is very well known for malicious intent in various other cases, from Delhi was visiting there and at the same time all meetings were arranged from workers from Nu and Tawadu and other places which are right next to this place. Number one. And secondly, that suddenly it, okay. it so happens the situation judgment. turns extremely volatile the next morning. Your Please let me finish. Uh, second, CBI. I, we are now taking credit. In fact, if you've heard it properly, I said that the parents wanted it and we did it. We were very confident that the local police will be able to crack the case, which it did. Third, you talk about cover-up. When you talk about cover-up, please also oh, hang tell on, us hang on, hang on, hang on. why would we Raman do Malik, a cover-up to an organization the case? who killed Pratima? Which is Pratima? running the school, which is a minority institution with less than a 20% minority presence. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. Your conductor says in the open poll retracted his statement. What has rivalry got to do with this case? Odette, Odette is a social activist working on women and child safety. Should the owners of this school be held responsible, when Odette? Options, when you have a 50% chance of getting it right, you still get it wrong. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Mr. Malik, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to say something. Absolutely. And it's not just this case. It's not just this case. Public memory is short. I'd like to remind people that in January 2016, there was another child who died in a Ryan mm. school. In May 2016, there was a six-year-old girl who died while crossing the road after getting off her bus. This is the third death due to poor uh, safety Manic. standards in a Ryan Institute. So undoubtedly, action needs to be taken, number one. Number two, Mr. Malik <coughs> made a statement saying the police is uh, not competent to make an arrest. I'd like to extend that statement. The police is not competent to in, uh, safeguard children in Gurgaon or in Haryana. For the simple reason, I'd like to do a little flashback. 3rd August 2016, 2015, 11-year-old girl was raped and murdered and collectively a group of us parents went to the police saying we want to help safeguard this city. And the, the, we came up with comprehensive safety guidelines for schools. Anyone can Google it. Gurgaon Police 
safety guidelines for schools. It's a fantastic document that preempts every single death that has happened since then. Four incidents in three years. Luckily, one child, the DPS child who was crushed between two school buses on the premises, he survived. But every single incident that has happened could have been preempted if these guidelines had been enforced. But the police have this gem of a document on their website but it's not been enforced. It makes me wonder, are they really concerned about the safety of children in the state? Because here is a, a, something that it has detailed checklists. All they have to do is enforce it. Every six months, schools have, to, immediately every school needs a safety committee, which comprises three parents, three uh, uh, teachers, including the, uh, uh, um, the vigilance officer or the safety admin officer. How many schools do have that? If that is a healthy, um, you know, committee right, that's right. I, I just, I just want to, I want to come back to to this particular uh, incident. Or you're making an excellent point that the people who run these schools must be held responsible. Vikram Singh, I enjoy asking uncomfortable questions. Vikram Singh, I'm going to put you on the spot as I always do, Mr. Singh. I'm going to run yes. on the screen visuals of Grace Pinto shaking hands with some of the most powerful people in the country. And this is not special information. This is available to our viewers. Go to Google on the right now. Google Grace Pinto. Click on images. Scroll. All of the images are on the public forum. They are available for you to look at. Vikram Singh, some of the most powerful people in our country cutting across party lines. As a former police officer, is this the reason why Grace Pinto, Augustin Francis Pinto and Ryan Pinto are not in jail? Ray and my learned panelists, please understand that the law does not give you any immunity or protection, whatever be your social status, whatever be your political outfit or whatever be your social standing in the world or your friend or your peer group or whatever. Law is equitable and unsparing. In this case, I feel, show me the man and I'll show you the rules. The social contacts indeed have come to a very great assistance to the Pintos one. As also, I would not like to believe the rumor that it is told that they probably garnered support for the ruling party in harnessing memberships. If that be the case, you should be even more unsparing rather than giving them an escape route Why not accepting and not arresting them and giving a weakest defense that it is not for us to decide. We are not deciding, sir, Mr. Raman Malik. We are just telling you what is the obvious. Justice must not only be done, but must seem to be done. And not arresting them is a miscarriage of justice. And just a quick add-on I'd like to put in over here what uh, Mr. Singh has uh, added. I'll say that, see, uh, this empire yes, they ahead. have built, they have made millions and billions, the empire they have put, they have been adding schools after schools, they have been compromising with the security, they have been compromising with all sort of regularities, regulations and everything. I must say, add on one more thing. As they were, I'm told, when, when they were filing an affidavit, they have filed in the petition, I'm told, I've seen that personally. They have given an address, of Borivali address, yes. where they reside. I'm told that they have been residing there 20 years back at the time of their struggle. Then they shifted to Pali Hills. Mm -hmm. Pali Hills, uh, uh, a house cost 200 crores, 300 crores, 400 crores, where this money has come. Swanky cars, luxurious lifestyle, they are, they are going through, they are earning from these by compromising the rules and regulations, putting the children into the vulnerability. They are uh, income, they they are earning from there and what is what is today happening if they if they are making profit making money they should get share in this implication and consequential effect as well today what has happened they must go to jail they must go to behind bars they must put to the rule of law they must be subjected to all kind of judicial scrutiny today and mr malik is today saying it's very shameful when he is saying that he is going he is saying that pintos could cannot be arrested today where is the precedence where is the mandate this is what he is asking and i i i must say with full responsibility the basics of the criminal jurisprudence is not I known like to him to come in this you, time you, you because must, you this must, is a false you must allegation the that you the, the learned law Lawyer is putting on to me. I never said uh, there is no Raman precedent. Malik, no, no, no. That, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Raman Malik, I'll arrested. give you an opportunity to please. respond. I have one question no, for you. I, I object Raman to Malik, this. Raman Malik, if I may, please, I have one question for you, which is the same. First, you did it by saying I was saying that women are emotional. Second. He is saying that I said Pintos cannot be arrested. Those two statements are totally false. 
Sir, and why I they cannot to be arrested? I fail to understand. You have given a list of interrogatories. Okay. You have given now a list of interrogatories. Now that you've, now that you've said, said they cannot you be arrested. Are the priest who's not, not in jail wrong. because Sir, they have, have powerful religious ministers? They are not coming forward to subject themselves to interrogation. Are the Pintu's not in jail because they have powerful friends as ministers? They need a president. I have never said that I have told that they should I don't believe Raman Malik can hear me. So please do not quote wrong things. You are a learned lawyer. I don't believe Raman Malik can hear me. Raman Malik, Raman Malik, Malik, please, please, gentlemen, stop screaming at each other. Raman Malik, are the Pintos not in jail because they have powerful friends who are ministers? I'm Ma glad you have your rights, Raman Malik. Like I'm understand. so glad that you remember next, your next rights. Do you remember the rights uh, of seven-year-old Pradyuman? Uh, Do you remember his rights? Yes. Do you remember when the rights of the you, Pintos? You remember your own you, rights. Do you remember, let's, let's remember Pradyuman's back. rights? Do you remember Pradyuman's rights, Raman Malik? You, you, you do not I remember, remember Pradyuman's Pradyuman rights. Right. All we remember is the Chief Minister, Mr. Khattar, going to Pradyuman's house and crying tears for the media's benefit, which we saw and we ran on the screen. What we are also running on the screen is the fact that the Pintos are shaking hands with the most powerful people in this country. To get a committee for okay, and that is why they are not in jail. That is why you are here currently on this show, prepping the way to give them a clean shit, prepping the way to not hold them responsible. This person that you are putting an allegation that is not bothered about Pradyuman's right was running even at 11.30 in the night to get justice for him. So please do not say things which you do not know. Who is this person? Now, are you done, Raman Malik? Are I, done? myself, I was running around till Look at the photographs the on your screen. Till the time that fellow was not arrested. I'm be okay, I, I, I appreciate the fact that you were running around till 11.30 at night. Now look at the screen that we are showing on, our, on, on and, national and television. And also let and me tell, tell you, is this and the bring reason this paper to the attention of your audience. The, the, the new laws which are set by the, uh, the education department very clearly states that the school has, for, has to form a security committee which includes the, the parents. Second, fire license has to be done. And they should be there. There should be a separate toilet for not teaching staff. Is this uh, the reason staff. why the Pintos are CCTVs not in jail? CCTVs have to be always Mr. operational. Mani, what are you reading? And Today we are on a is this the reason why the Pintos are not in jail? And so it also says that, that not is this the reason not why the Pintos the are not the in jail? They take over the law in their own hands. You have never had a had an incident Sir, you where a government has come out and why the Pintos are not in jail? For everybody, and they've taken action on it. I'm going to keep asking. Asking the question until I get an answer. Is this the reason why the Pintos are not in jail? Your screen right now, Raman Malik, is this the reason why the Pintos are not in jail? Ma'am, I would like to. Why are the Pintos not in jail, Raman are Malik? You questioning today that the laws which are there are being manipulated for the benefit of Pintos. And the executive and the judiciary yes. would be, uh, you know, uh, taken to, for a ride. Just Are the executive. I said nothing about the judiciary. Nothing about the judiciary, only no. the police I and the I said nothing about the judiciary. Let us talk only the executive, the and the yes. Administration. The judiciary and the executive cannot be taken for the ride. You, uh, you, you know, a lot of people have said this for Haryana I said government. Nothing about Whether the it judiciary. was Rampal, 42, 42 uh, times the summons went, he was not given in. We took him in. Whether it was Ram Rahim, we you did it. Whether it was Ram Rahim, we did it. Meaning you are taking the responsibility. And you sir, are sir, it's only under like intervention by the High Court. Is there. We will arrest it's not out of your own, own volition you are taking. And the law has I'm sorry. to act Raman Malik. for all. Why are the Pintos not in jail, Raman Malik? Why are the Pintos not in jail, Raman Malik? Ma'am, please hey, ask the. I, I don't think he's going to answer because that the answer is on our screen. The Pintos have to be arrested or not, that is the call of the executive. It is not a political there call, no and it would today. not be a political CBI call un under this government. It's not a political this call. government does That's not good work. Absolutely, That's good to know. Vikram saying, okay, I, now, all right, all right. Now I'm going to give everybody an opportunity to respond to that, starting with Vikram Singh. Vikram and Singh, I, my, my law and order is not a political call. 
the politicians do not interfere with the job of the police victims. You agree? Everybody is equal, but some are more equal than the others. Like Harry Belafonte's song, "There's a hole in the bucket." We go through the whole circle and come back to the case because there's a hole in the bucket. Mr. Malik is going round and round in circles without coming to the point. Please understand that the Pintos have the blood of Rajivan on their hands. It's simple. And if your tenure in the U.P. Police has done, do you personally believe that you are responsible for the crime? Malik, what is this? It's not happening about me. It's happening about me. Malik, what is this? It's happening about me. It's happening about me. I'm a very small man. 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 लॉजिक वही है सर और अगर मेरी लापरवाही से आपके लिए भी दिन होना मलिक साहब अगर मेरी लापरवाही से कुछ हुआ है तो मेरी पूरी जिम्मेदारी है अगर मेरी लापरवाही से मिली भगत से कुछ हुआ है तो पूरी जिम्मेदारी मेरी है आपकी लापरवाही आ गई कम से कम पुलिस को जुडिशरी को सेक करने के लिए यू नो आई एम शॉक्ड at this behavior. Shocked that Raman Malik will use this opportunity right now to question Vikram Singh about his career as a police officer. Vikram Singh is now retired. Instead of answering what is going on, what is going wrong right now, this is the sort of what about it. This is the sort of behavior that will keep us from getting justice. This is the sort of behavior that will keep us from getting justice. One second. Gentlemen, please calm down. Mohamed Khan. Mohamed Khan, there are enough Congress politicians shaking hands with Grace Pinto as there are BJP politicians. Is this the reason why she's got the kind of political cover that she has? Similar for all. The distinction between us and Mr. Malik's embarrassing display at whatever it is he is doing is that Mr. Randeep Singh Surjewala, our chairman, of our media cell came out and spoke to the press and said this for the, these people should be prosecuted in the harshest and strictest terms he kept his vigil he went down to the ground he is the one who asked for the cbi inquiry again and again and these people of course they accused him of trying to convert into a political uh, scenario that was not his intention he is a parent himself he was deeply anguished he set aside his duties here he went Sir, as I can show you your Mr. Malik, supreme commander Mr. Malik, listen, Salman Khushi, that was Salman Khushi, the mother of entire Congress, with the word Grace Pinto. Now, with that logic, since Grace Pinto was with Sonia Gandhi, even Sonia Gandhi should be arrested. That is not the logic. Let the law decide who is culpable for this. And Mr. Malik, while we are on the subject of political affiliations, need I remind you that this gentleman, the managing director of the school, used to be very proud of his BJP connections. He used to flaunt the fact that he was a BJP office bearer. So, Mr. Malik, I don't know if the apple has fallen far from the tree. They used to be proud of Congress connection also, but we have we saved them? Are we saving them? Have I saved? Have my has my government ever saved? I have given you three instances. Raman Malik, you can try as much as you can. You can try, Raman. Malik, Raman Malik, you can try as much as you can to make this about everybody else, but the truth is, this is about Pradyuman. Raman Malik, Raman Malik, you can try as much as you want to to make this about everything else, but the truth is, this is about Pradyuman. You Pradyuman is gone. I feel the pain. Or justice for the not being served to Pradyuman. But I want justice to be served. Do you served, really? Do you take responsibility? Equal for all. Do you take responsibility for Pradyuman's death? For seventy years. Do you take responsibility, Raman Malik, for Pradyuman's death? Because somebody wanted something. Bada peer girega to har dharti lagi. Boss, it does not happen that way in this government. Justice has to be served and equal for all. Please. Raman Malik, Raman Malik, do you take responsibility for Pradyuman's death? Yes, it is my responsibility also because I am citizen of Gurgaon. He was my child also. So therefore, I want you to declare just now that Rian so Pinto... So I have also lost the child. Pinto's because when I went to his house, I saw his mother, this, I saw the father, and, and, and I, I saw myself in now. his face. Have, have some conscience and tell that Pinto's will be brought to book. 
You tell, announce it just now on the national channel. Here only that Pintos will be arrested and will Whoever be brought to court. And Pardu, Pardu even will be if it is Raman Malik who is guilty, would not be spared in this government. Pintos, don't ask given. for precedence, Mr. Malik. Don't ask for precedence. Don't ask. Have you, you, you have forms. to study. You have to. I have am saying even if it is Raman Malik who is guilty, would be brought to books in this government. Forget yes, about anybody else. Therefore, don't ask for I am saying law has to be equal for Mr. all. Malik, this and is not it should about be you. served. This is and that not is about what this what government is committed to do. The martyr that you are, it is about that child and his parents getting some semblance okay, of justice. Okay. Okay. That, that is what I am saying. Anything. The justice system will deliver justice to Pradyuman. That I can assure to you. The executive will deliver justice. That I can assure to you. It is not what you have lived for the entirety of your life where you saw justice I, being touched and twinkled to around with. Point. In this government, justice is equal for so all yet, and it's so right. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah Mr. Malik, audit, beyond justice, audit. Mr. Malik, audit, beyond audit. justice for Praduman, Mr. Malik, beyond justice for Praduman, can you commit to making schools safe? That's the topic we should be discussing, not politics. Can we make schools safe for every school child, every mother and I father who sent their child out to school across the country? This is Sharma, not only about Pradyuman. What Sharma, can we I, as a country Sharma, do to make our schools read. safe? School safe. Yeah, Just let me finish, please. Safety please. should be... Safety please should be to... intuitive. I would like to finish, please. Yes. Safety should be intuitive. If you finish, let me finish my question, then you can answer. Safety is intuitive. If a school like Ryan cannot bring the intuitive process to protect these young children, then it needs strict checklists which are enforced. And when there is a culpability, there has to be an immediate arrest. Forget about this particular case. This boy was sacrificed on the altar of their carelessness. But what, what troubles us mothers and people who are in this field is every time somebody dies, there's a big hue and cry about it. It all dies down till the next death happens four or six or ten months later. And these days we are hearing every single day across the country things which are going wrong. It's very different from our school days. When, when we went to school, we would have wandered in the dark and come back at seven. Things were much safer then. For today's children, there's so much danger lurking. The system has Sagar to Mandada, come together uh, to make Sagar Mandada, the country. One second, Doctor Sagar Mandada is, is a psychologist. More, more uh, Doctor Sagar Mandada, as a citizen, as a parent, right now, when you you've been listening to this debate this entire time, right. Doctor Sagar Mandada, what is your reaction to the fact that it seems like the government is batting for the Pintos at this point? I think it is very sad. It's been many days since this has been in the headlines all over the country now. But the way everybody is shifting blame onto each other, I think it is really sad. What ma'am has been saying here is very, very correct. We have to look at the entire school system as a whole because we have a big UN, uh, UN cry when something like this happens and then everything settles down. We need to have a certain set of safety protocols which have to be followed by the schools, which have to be mandatory. Simple things amongst those which have been, you know, everybody has been telling that the, these things need to happen, but they don't happen. First thing is you need to have a basic uh, psychometric evaluation of all the teachers, of all the uh, school bus uh, conductors, all the people, peons who are working in the school. I think that is one thing that can be done. Everybody is uh, telling that it should be done but isn't done. Second thing that can be done, I feel, is we need to have a proper, proper uh, syllabus wherein appropriate touch and inappropriate touch is taught to the children as part of the syllabus. Again, that is something which is not done. It is just talked of. The third thing is we have to make the parents, the teachers more aware and we have to make the schools accountable that if something like this goes wrong, the schools have to have some form of accountability. Presently, right, that is not right, there. Right. Some form of accountability. One second, I have Stephen on the phone. I'm running out of time. Stephen's on the phone line. Yeah, Stephen, so very sorry. quickly, go ahead. What's the point you'd like to make? Yeah, see, at the outset, I would like to, you know, before getting on to a question, I would like to say about the BGV spokesperson. They make tall claims, you know, but then you, you may not find Raman Malik tomorrow. You'll have some other BGV spokesperson tomorrow. Anyway, coming to the point, I, wanted to, I want to ask Raman Malik whether any of the Pinto family members were or are, you know, office bearers of the BJP or any way, you know, active members of the BJP. That's one thing. And if it's in the affirmative, 
is that the reason why uh, the yeah, case has been dragging on secondly i would like to state another final point uh, i mean the pinto is holding more than 100 schools which i believe i mean you literally have to go to depth of the case you have to see the funding also you know so i feel in totality this matter should be looked into it should not be looked into isolation regarding pradyuman's death case only thanks a lot right all right we've run, we've run out of time we've run out of time and we've had uh, we've had the government of haryana talk about how it has framed rules for the safety of children but the truth is that unless you implement these rules and we know the teachers have come forward in this particular school talking about the fact that they noticed that they there were several several lapses of security the boundary wall had come down people could walk in and out of the school uh, the cctv was not working in some cases but the school did nothing in spite of the fact that the teachers brought it up there are several problems but there is a complete reluctance on the part of the state police to investigate the pintos and to bring them to book remember that the high court at this point has not as we speak today has not issued a stay on the arrest of the pintos which means the state police is fully within their rights so the cbi is fully within their rights to take them into custody or they have not done so yet the question we are asking is very simple i have not received an answer yet from the beginning of this show why are the pintos not arrested and to my audience i will say the same thing go to google on your phone type grace pinto click on images and scroll through the images that you see is that enough of an explanation for why these people are not in jail and are we already paving some sort of murky path to give the pintos a clean chit in the death of pratiman if a child is murdered in his school a 7 year old had his throat slit while he is in school aren't the people who make money on that child's fees responsible for that child's murder they're responsible for his security the parents pay fees so that their child is secure and their child is taught something and their child is nurtured if you have taken responsibility for the child and you have accepted what can only be described as an exorbitant amount of money in fees you are then responsible for when that child is murdered in cold blood on your watch it is as simple as that there are laws in the ipc rules in the ipc that can be dug up to support this i really wish that the police in haryana and gurgaon would take the help of a book and do some research and find out who's responsible in this case and why they need to make arrests if they aren't able to read a book we would be very glad to call some of the most prominent lawyers in the country some of the most prominent legal experts in the country to help them out also to the politicians in this particular case it's in your best interest to get out of the way because here with the murder of pradyuman you are currently in the eye of every parent in the country and do you know what that means parents in this country are not a minority Parents in this country are not salaried. Parents in this country are not just women. These are women and men. These are as Raman Malik called us over emotional women and men. But parents, nothing else matters to us more than the security and the safety of our children. We're watching this one so closely and this means so much to each of us as parents. this one you cannot hope that the heat will go away that we will get distracted that we will allow this to happen and then somewhere down the line another case will pop up and then we'll all pick a drudge up the details of this case that's not going to happen because we're going to run these visuals on the screen over and over again until the pintos are taken into custody you better have a very very good reason tomorrow morning as to why it has not already happened the fact that you haven't read the books is not a good enough reason because these visuals are on google and we did not put them there you have to come up with a better reason in the meantime we're watching you good night